this video we're going to talk about how to view recorded video and how to save video right off of your NVR. Um, so for starters to save video you're going to need a some sort of a, a external hard drive flash drive something like that you've got two usb ports one in the front and one in the back um, so we're going to start by plugging in our drive here when you plug it in um, the NVR is going to recognize it or i should say the NVR or the dvr or the recorder Going to recognize it it's going to ask you if you want to do any of these things um, for the most part you just want to right click get rid of that box because you're going to choose these functions all on your own so to view recorded video you're going to right click you're going to go to search it's going to pop up with a calendar uh, the days with circles underneath these are the days that you have recorded video as it records over itself these days are going to drop off um, but those are the days that you have video. So to view it, you're going to choose the date that you want. Um, you're going to choose which camera you want to view, uh, up to four at, at a time. What we're doing here, we're just going to choose one. You can either click here on this timeline, and it's going to start you playing at that specific time. Um, now this is, it's hard, it's a little hard to get to an exact time on here because it's showing you 24 hours at a time. So you can, over here, these will take you down to 2 hours, 1 hour, or 30 minutes. So it stretches your timeline out so, you look, so you're looking at a smaller chunk of video. Um, and then you can press and hold and scroll over to go to a earlier or a later time depending on what you're trying to find. Um, you have your pause, your stop, your play backward is your rewind. So if you want to rewind, you hit play backward, and then you use your fast to go up to times 16 speed, depending on how fast you're trying to rewind. Play will take you back to live, and then you have just fast will do your fast forward. Same thing up to times 16, depending on how fast you're trying to fast forward. Um, then you have uh, previous day, next day, this will take you to uh, the next day. So at midnight the next day, you can keep pressing that until you're run out of days. Um, uh, you also, so that's on your timeline, you can also, you have your file list over here. So this is going to take you to a list of clips. When it's just recording 24-7, it'll record in 10 minute increments. So it gives you clips in 10 minute increments. And then if there's ever any motion events, which it looks like I chose a camera, oh, here we go. So then the M is um, motion. So you can double click on any of these clips and it's gonna start playing at that specific time. Um, if you want to, uh, for, before I do save, so one important thing is this right here, the file lock. So if you want to, if something's happening in this clip that you want to keep the MVR from recording over, even if you're not saving it to another, another device, you can click on the clip that you want to save or multiple clips, however, it, however you want to do it. Then you click on the file lock. You're going to get a little lock next to, where you go, next page little lock next to that clip so now that MVR will not record over that clip you'll keep that clip forever even though it'll record all over record over the rest of this other stuff um, and then to save video to your to your flash drive that you plugged in um, a couple different ways so from here you can save these whole clips so if you want to choose multiple clips and then hit your floppy disk it's going to ask you where you want, what device you want to save it to. We only have one device plugged in, so it's it's an easy choice. It shows the two clips that I chose. You can choose to combine the video together or to save them as separate clips. And then you can choose what file format. MP4 is what you generally want to save it as, because that's the most common format that your computer should be able to play. You should have a player already that plays that. Um, and then you hit backup choose if there's a specific file on your flash drive that you want to save it to and hit start it's going to give you your time here how, how much time remaining you've got and then it'll say backup complete and then you can take that flash drive out go plug it into your computer and play it however it is you want to play it and then uh, right 
clicking on your mouse will take you back a step. If you keep pressing it, it's going to take you back to your live screen. And that's it.